Hey guys, this is Sheeny Entertaining. I'm about to do a different type of video, a video that uh, I've never done before and just wanted to try it. You guys all know I am an insomniac and sometimes what I do to, to go to sleep is I like to go for my midnight walks. So I figured today, I don't know, why not? See if you guys want to come along. Um, these things could get kind of creepy at times, so um, <laughs> we'll see what happens. I'm going to put on my hood because when you walk around the neighborhood with a hood on, people tend to think that you're a hoodlum and <laughs> they, and they don't want to. They want to come mess with you. So, all right, guys, let's let's come along with me on a fantastic ride, ride, slippity slide. Old school songs, yo. Yeah, guys. So, so I kind of like to go on these walks because it tires you out. You know, my brain is one that likes. To, I think about too many things. You know, I'm one of those guys. Those what those overthinkers. I tend to think way too much about things that don't matter. You know, and so it keeps me up at night. And the way I found to go to sleep is to go for sometimes go for walks at night, and helps me get to sleep. And and you know the thing is about walking out in this time, there's nobody here, and it's sort of peaceful, and makes you kind of think more. Um, you think more clearly. You get to think about all the reasons you hate Star Wars. <laughs> I mean, but you know what I mean I don't really you just you think about your life and things important stuff hold on can you guys hear that here's like a whistle can you hear that I hear like a whistle I don't know, I never hear that. I've never heard that one before. I've not been in this walk for many, many, many years. I don't recall hearing a whistle. Hold on. Let's, let's check this out. I think it's coming from here. All right. Yeah, so. You hear that? What was all that? You hear that? What the hell? <laughs> it's kind of creepy. It's probably something you name. Probably somebody's. It sounds like somebody's on a swing. Uh -huh. Sounds like someone's on a swing. It's like one o'clock in the morning and someone's on a swing. It'd be freaking crazy if you get to a if it's like some ghost chick on a swing. <laughs> I almost fell. That's pretty creepy. It's probably nothing. But that was pretty creepy. I hope you guys heard that. You just sound like a big whistle. I'm gonna go to the park. See if someone's on swing. <laughs> if I get to this park and there's like a ghost on the swing, some ghost chick just sitting around the swing, uh, I don't know what I'll do. I'll be soiled in my pants. Hmm? Soiled they will be. It's just a car. In Canada we say, car. It's probably wondering, what the hell is that guy doing? You gotta be careful. Sometimes these guys are loaded with kids and teenagers. He's going pretty fast for... Look at me, like an old man. Yeah, slow down, what's wrong with you? Youngins. He just stopped. I hope he doesn't come back. Always, I'm at the park. I don't always come to this park, but sometimes I do. Um, fine. This park is kind of creepy. Um, look. You see this thing? It's like a jungle gym with eyeballs. That's just the creepiest jungle gym. Like all over is like an eyeball central here. See that? It's like a giant eyeball. Like a giant octopus eyeball just staring at you. Like what the hell is the point of that? That's just creepy. And they're all over this one too, this one too. 
that cook. What the hell would put <laughs> this? This is like a Freemason thing, eh? The Illuminati built this. <laughs> Look, it's like the eye in the middle of the pyramid, guys. Built to you, built by the Illuminati. Yeah. Look, this is obsessed with eyeballs whoever built this park. Like, hey kids, come and play on giant eyeball. <laughs> Look at this. Who the hell would buy it? Who builds this for their kid for a kid in the park? Look at that. There's an eyeball here. Look at that. Private eyes are watching you while you play. <laughs> Craziness. Craziness. Look at that. When I was a kid. I used to jump on these things and play with pirates. I be pirates of the Caribbean, love. This is my ship. I'm calling this the Black Pearl. Remember when your kids, guys, you'd totally play on this thing. This is a pool by my neighborhood. Something very eerie about a pool. In the middle of the night. You guys see it? This is kind of a community pool. It's cool. It's, I mean, summer's here almost. That's why there's water in there. Around the corner here, there's always a rabbit. Yeah, let's see if he's around. Never did find out what the hell that sound was. It kind of stopped. Uh, usually around here, there's like a, oh, a rabbit, but uh, it's a big mother too. No, he's not here today. He's off eating carrots like a Wescoe wabbit. <laughs> hockey rink, everything seems so different at night, you know? This is like a hockey rink, eh? Let's see, is there any ghosts playing hockey? <laughs> if you build it, they will come. Like a ice rink of dreams? If you build it, Wayne Gretzky will come. Do you guys believe in ghosts? I'm going to come and try and find a place that I can just sit for a minute and have some sort of chit chat you see this tree guys okay this is this is just my thing hang on there was one night i was out here just real talk guys for a second. you know when you're out here by yourself in places like this you kind of tend to see things all the time right you don't you know like that noise it could have been anything natural but right away you, you think to someone's whistling um <laughs> you know but this tree here, I swear, I was like right here in this exact position. And along the sky where my finger is, I don't know if you could see it, where my finger is right around there, there was a plane. And I looked like a plane anyway. It, it was kind of triangular, but it had flashing lights, so I always assumed. So I just thought, yeah, it's a plane. And it went this way. And very slow. Now, I didn't hear the engine noises. Normally, I would. What I did in here, something like that. Can you see that one? That's a plane. Hold on. Anyway, that, that's a plane. And it was kind of like right there. Here's the thing. It went behind this tree. Like this. Like just went behind this tree. And I waited to see if it would come out the other side. It was going along this trajectory right across like that. And I'm just waiting, 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 waiting. It never came. I'm like, where the hell did this stupid plane come? And I was like, okay. So I turned around. I went around the... I just peeked around this tree like that, right? And I couldn't find it. And I'm like, where the hell did this thing go? It just went behind the tree and just disappeared. It's kind of weird because... You hear that? Every night, man. Motorcycle races down this street every night. It's funny. You take your car out every five seconds, there's a parking ticket. There's never a cop when someone's doing that kind of stuff. There's my old madness coming back. God damn whippersnappers having fun at night. <laughs> Soon I'm going to have to change my depends. I've never actually been in this building. But, um... It's kind of got a green glow. It's inside. That's me. Look like Eminem from Eight Mile. <laughs> Let's see going on here. What's what's the, what's the hips? 
I'm not sure if I should be talking about Star Wars. <laughs> it's kind of creepy out here. A lot of people, you know, might find this sort of intimidating to be walking around at night. Um, I don't know, I find it relaxing and calming. I've done it since I was young. Uh, you know? I know it's, my wife sometimes she doesn't understand. She's just like, it's dangerous. What are you doing? Especially you're going to bring a camera now. <laughs> you know, it's, kind of, it's kind of sketchy. I hear a lot of people do these kind of things. They use the word sketchy a lot. <laughs> so, <laughs> when in Rome. <laughs> I'm, not a, I'm not a hoodlum. I'm not going to be hopping fences. I just want to talk, you know? And talk at night. And not everything has to be about Star Wars. The one thing I will say, though, not just about Star Wars, but about us as human beings, is like, you know, when you when you quiet your mind and you just do your thing, like you just do this sort of thing, you know, you can kind of just sort of be sort of at peace. People's lives are so busy, there's just so many things in their heads, and we worry about these things, and we, we make mountains out of molehills a lot of times, you know, me included, I'm not putting myself, I'm not, I'm not special, I don't recommend everybody to go do this. For all I know, you live in really bad neighborhoods. So. My neighborhood isn't too bad, you know. I mean, there has been, there was a mob shooting a year or so ago, uh, and around, just actually right on this street in the house. Was a, I know that right on the street next to mine, there was, a, there was another shooting or stabbing, <laughs> but I'm hopeful. <laughs> you never think it's gonna happen to us. Truth be told, I have been mugged before. Fought them off. Drake, brave soul. I did my kung fu. Everybody's kind of got their thing. This is my thing. I do believe in the paranormal. Ah! And that kind of what makes this even better is that I do believe in the paranormal. And some people like to run away from that sort of thing because they believe in it and they're like scared. Uh, and I can understand that. You know, you if you want to go to sleep at night after you see something, a lot of people don't want to believe it because. If they do, they realize they'll never sleep ever again. And I can understand that. Well, let's be, you know, to using the washroom, you know, thinking that they're the grandma or grandpa are in there, you know, just watching you make pee pee. <laughs> Nobody does. And as that's if that's what you're doing, because you'd be doing other things too. That's, but that's kind of fun for me. I, I just sort of, I like the confirmation. Now, I'm not a 100% believer of anything. I mean, I'm a believer in the paranormal in the sense that I've had things happen to me. And like I've always said, I'm a skeptic, but a healthy skeptic and a skeptic that has to see it to believe it. Paranormal, I've seen multiple occasions. When I do these walks, I've seen stuff in the sky that I know were not planes. I'm not going to call them UFOs, but I know they're not planes. I once saw a light that I thought was a firecracker. It was like, if you can put where my finger was around this like height and it was just this bright light that just kind of like hovered there and I didn't think much of it right at first and then it was kind of like as if I almost when I noticed it it started to move and it went this way it went sideways back forth did a squiggly line and then shot up and then disappeared I swear that happened <laughs> I was just like um what did I just see <laughs> It's, it's one of those things that you know, you have to see to believe in. You know, you, you tell people. You know, you tell your wife, you tell people. And they'll be like, oh, yeah, mm -hmm. oh, interesting. Well, maybe you just thought a plane. No, planes don't make ziggle, zigzags in the air and then take off and then disappear. I don't know what I saw. Oh, well, maybe it was just a firecracker. I said, well, that's what I thought at first. But then it did zigzag lines back and forth, shot straight up in the air. After being hov in a hovering position, no noise, by the way, and just shot up straight in the air and disappeared. I don't believe that is a firecracker either. What it is exactly, I can't really say. The hell knows, right? Swamp gas? Well, I don't live in the swamp, but there's plenty of gas here. <laughs> so it's not swamp gas, so. I don't know, man, your guess is as good as mine. It was a glowing orb that just shot straight up. That's what I mean, you see something like that and no, you no longer become a skeptic of it because like maybe there's something too and now I'm not willing to say it's alien I don't know 
Hell, maybe there is a, it's a military plane that we don't know about. Bottom line is I don't know. But it did pique my interest. Doesn't make me scared though. I still come out here and I kind of, I know I'm one of those weird people that I have had a lot of paranormal things happen to me. And I think because I'm open to it and I put myself in positions where they can happen because I like scary things, but, and I don't hide from it. And I, I'm not inviting it necessarily. I'm not allowed here going, hey, hey ghosts, come get me. Hey, you foes, and they beat me up and they anal probe me. I'm not doing that. <laughs> but at the same time, I'm not hiding from it. And that's why I think I get things that a lot of people don't get. And it's kind of, kind of wish people would get it. Um, because it sucks when you don't, you're the only one that sees things. And no one else does. And, you know, people just think you're just a crazy person. I'm a crazy person anyway, but that just solidifies it. It's kind of a quiet night today, not much happening. It's a hissing. Is that a big snake? <laughs> it's just a fire hose. Somebody's got their sprinklers on. It's pretty much my walk, guys. Um, anyway, guys, thank you for coming along with me on this walk. Um, i a bit nervous. This is my first one of these. I didn't know really how to do it. I might be shaking the camera too much or it might be too dark. You guys let me know in the comments. I'll try and fix it next time. Like I said, this is my first go at this sort of thing. <clears throat> if you thought this was fun, and uh, well, maybe give me a topic to talk about when we go for a walk. I'll talk about anything. You know, If you like the paranormal stuff, I'll talk about that. If you want to talk to me to talk about Star Wars, I'll talk about that. Or if you just want me to shut the hell up. <laughs> you should zip the lip and listen to the nature i'll do that too as hard as it may seem to me i can be quiet once in a while the teacher used to call me the bionic bouche you could tell she was french or either that or we wandered in the wrong class right, let me get more into the light don't go into the light caroline all right guys this is shady entertaining and i'm gonna sign off like i said let me know what you think all right guys talk to you later hey guys welcome back i just wanted to show you guys something Remember I told you the rabbit? There you go. There you go. Hey, little guy. I caught the rabbit, guys. Anyway, guys, I just thought that was cool. He's kind of walking alongside me right now. This is me on my way home, and I turned it off, and I just caught that rabbit right there. Anyway, guys, night one, rabbit caught. <laughs> Let's see if it's the next night that happens. It'll be my thing, try and catch the rabbit. All right, guys, see you later.